the turning point or the beginning of the series had nothing to do with uh, housing, public housing. It was the death of my mother and father. And uh, up to that point, I thought that uh, that time was stationary, that uh, things would always go on, and that somehow things would never die. It would be just continuous. And uh, once my parents died, I was jettisoned back to my past. And I wanted to sort of sense or identify some continuity. And, and much to my surprise, it, the concentration was on my neighborhood, Hyde Park. And it was going through urban renewal. And the shocking thing about that to me was I always thought a neighborhood was a living organism. The buildings were alive with people and uh, the neighborhood had businesses and uh, a sense of community, a sense of belonging. And then I witnessed the, the, uh, the destruction of uh, of the neighborhood, piece by piece, and I realized the reason for it, for urban renewal, is that the poor in Hyde Park and the blacks were considered a threat to the stability of the neighborhood, and that we were not wanted. In some ways, we were the enemy. And uh, boy, that was really a, a revelation. I never considered myself an enemy. I always thought I was sort of privileged to, uh, to, to be in that wonderful dynamic na neighborhood. And uh, so I, I, I seem to be concentrating on, on the, not on the death of my parents, but the uh, death of a certain aspect of my past. And by examining the past, I was trying to find a sense of timelessness. So I completed the paintings, and I, of course I, I didn't have Cabrini Green in mind when I, uh, when I did the paintings. About five or six years ago, or perhaps more, I was talking to a, a prominent architect, Chicago architect, and he told me one of the concepts of, of Cabrini Green was to design buildings that were ugly and that they, they wanted the people who lived there not to feel comfortable and, and they wanted them to move out. Uh, they didn't, they didn't think that beauty was a uh, intrinsic part of uh, the human psyche. That just shocked me. And, and uh, then almost instantaneously, I became aware of Cabrini Green uh, for a variety of reasons. I, I went to school in Chicago. I, I saw Cabrini Green constructed. I saw it decaying, I saw it being demolished. I didn't give it a, uh, a second thought. I thought it was just part of life. But because a similar thing happened to me, I became aware of the other. I became the other. I had great empathy for, for what the residents of Cabrini Green experience. 